Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about traveling and visa processes. I have had a lot of friends who have had their visa denied recently. After discussion and talking with them, I realized that they repeated the same mistakes I did that resulted in my first visa interview being rejected so today i'm going to share with you some tips things you should avoid when you are applying for us visa and when you go into the interview room let's get right into it now let's begin this way i would want to give you a general overview about the online or electronic application form to apply for your visa you must first submit a completed ds-164 this form will ask for information from your passport, I mean your passport details, date of previous travel to the United States or elsewhere, work experiences, and educational history. Don't be worried if you don't have any previous traveling experience. You will also need to provide usernames for social media accounts used in the past five years. So be sure to fill out all this information as thoroughly as possible. Anything you do not understand, seek help before you put any information on your form because every information you fill on your form matters. It is not for any reason that the embassy requires you to provide a social media username. So make sure that if you submit any username, for example, if you submit your Facebook username, your Instagram or Twitter or whatever social media you want to use, make sure that you clear or you clean anything that suggests violence, anything on your page that can go against you. Assuming they visit your page, what are the things they are going to find about you? It is important. Sometimes we don't pay attention to this, but there is a reason why the embassy require you to fail or to, to add your social media handle to your application form. Please make sure you clean your social media page before you go for the interview. This is the big thing. Pay attention to details and avoid errors. Your visa application is an official document. So the information you provide should not only be correct, but it should be complete. Before you submit your application, make sure you verify that you have entered date correctly and that you did not make any spelling errors. Remember to include only the information asked for. Additional information that you, you, you include in your application may hurt you. It may not help you. When I, I, I had my visa refused, I knew that it was as a result of one of the errors I made. It may be. Because after submitting my application, I realized that I have made a mistake. So it is important that you pay attention to details and try to avoid making an inadvertent typo. These are some of the common reasons why most applications or most, yes, most applications are rejected. Do not provide any information you cannot defend. This is important. Every information you enter on your application form, you must be able to provide evidence to support. For example, if you claim that your sister is going to sponsor you, your sister is, is your financier for your studies, you must be able to prove that you have a relationship with the person. The person is truly your sister. And you must be able to prove that the finances you are submitting are evidence enough to support your studies throughout your stay in the United States. Another example is when you claim on your form that you are working, you should be able to prove either in the form of the salary, either in the form of your pay slip or your bank statement. And when you say that you are not working, you should be able to state why you are not working. So you must be prepared to defend every information you put on, on the application forms. Do not memorize answers to questions. Now, whilst you are preparing for your interview, 
it is okay for you to go on the internet and look out for sample questions and if possible how some people answered them but don't repeat the mistake i did i wrote down answers to these questions for example who is sponsoring you why are you going to study in the united states uh, what, what are your plans after after studies i wrote answers to these questions and memorized them and these questions were on the internet right so they were in order so i also memorized them in order and the perception was that when i go they are going to ask me for example why are you going to the united states because that was the experience uh, from the videos and from the research i made most people said that was their first question so that was how i prepared now i went for the interview and the first question was how old are you are you married and all of a sudden i was black out i was confused i was totally surprised and i started to shiver i lost control i lost confidence because i have memorized and i was expecting the consoler to ask me those questions so that i can pour it i can pour it from my head <laughs> as i've memorized them so you do not need a prepared speech but you should have an idea of how you will answer some common questions. Like who is sponsoring you? Like what are your intents after, uh, intentions after studies? What are, what are your, your plans? Like why do, did you choose that course? How will it help you? These are some of the questions you should be prepared for. But you shouldn't just write answers and memorize it. Just be aware. Just be prepared to answer any question. Do not give out unnecessary information you have not been asked. Many people in attempt to impress and to show that they have their confidence over their responses, try to give away voluntarily so many information, even information they have not been asked. Avoid that. Make sure that your answers will be brief, your answers will be short. Don't give answers that will trigger additional questions which may go against you if the consular have not asked for a specific document don't show it up if they have not asked for a specific question don't answer don't try to connect answers to where you want your your, your point to be made be brief be simple and go straight to the point inconsistency in information you know after you fill out your online or your electronic application form, you are required to appear for an interview. That is how they are going to assess how consistent you are with the document you provided on your form and with your oral speech you will give. So make sure every information you give in the interview room conform to the answers or the responses you gave on your application form. Even if after application you realize that you didn't feel something well at the interview room, don't change that answer. Be consistent. If you are not consistent, they will see that you are lying and it will go against you. Don't overly dress. Your dressing is important. Sometimes some of us go for the interview as if we are going for a wedding. As if we are a best man or we are going for a business meeting. It is just a visa interview you are going. I remember in my first interview, I was in suit, in tie, with even a vest and red watch. I was dressed as if I was going to meet Obama in the White House. So it is important you dress simple but neatly. In my second interview, after I realized that my dressing shows how obsessed I am, I just put on a short sleeves and with the sandals. I didn't even barber my hair as I did in the first uh, interview. Because it is a visa interview you are going. You are not going for a business meeting. So be simple. Be gentle but simple. Don't be wearing suit and, and tie and all that when you are going for a student visa. For me, I don't think it, 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 it is really a good thing to do. It shows you are obsessed. Avoid it. This is the last point. Get help. 
Yes. When I was applying for my U.S. visa, after my visa was denied, I knew I needed help. You know, there are some people who are able to go through the process themselves. Though the process is easy, but it is not simple. So I contacted Intim Travel Agency. He is now a personal friend. And he helped me. He helped me with the application, filling of my application form. He helped me in coaching me. He helped me in so many things. Even uh, the day I was going for interview, he was there to guide me, to direct me. So I will leave his contact and details in the video description section. You can contact him and you can use my name. Tell him that you, you got his name from me and he will give you a special package. He is a genuine person. So please, there are a lot of bad people in the system, but I will bet you on this. He is genuine. When you get to know him, you will see that in Team Travel Agency is the best. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and click on the notification bell for more videos. Thank you, but always remember, theology is fine. Trust me.